The 2010 Red Willow County Fair was July 28th through August 1st. It included 4-H animal judging, a midway carnival, and events for the young and the young at heart. In order to have events that entertain such a wide array of fairgoers, the fair board has to start their preparations more than six months in advance. Wayne Watkins and Jay Schilling, both board members, explain. It started back in probably January when we had our... We yeah, a, yeah, we actually... Fair board retreat. We get out there and, and you start seeing what other fairs are doing, trying to pick what our big top will do, our entertainment on, a, on the fairgrounds. And so it started back in January with everybody throwing their pieces together and trying to find entertainment. It takes a lot of preparation. You, you try to bring what you think people want for entertainment and for, you know, um, I guess, and then also we, of course, provide facilities and support for the 4-H projects and 4-H in general. So. And besides doing that, we're out there getting sponsorship, trying to help subsidize the county with it. The 2010 fair had two marquee events. The first was Friday night with the Monster Truck Exhibition Show. The second was the NSRA Rodeo, which took place Saturday and Sunday night. Preceding the Saturday Night Rodeo was the announcement of Rodeo Queens for 2010. Furnace County Princess Jessica Percival spoke about what it takes to prepare for a Rodeo Queen competition. Um, I had done a lot of practice and work with my horse and that stuff, prepared him for like whatever they could have had done. If they would have done a reining pattern, a horsemanship pattern, or a western pleasure pattern. And then I also prepared for a speech that they had us do. And it was an open topic, so I wrote about my favorite um, rodeo event and then they also had um, your modeling stuff so you got attire like you had your dresses and your hair all done up and the hat and the boots and everything and the fancy jewelry and everything that you wear to get ready for it and then also to get ready for it I had to like practice a lot of waving for like the Queen's wave and also smiling while riding paying attention to the crowd and not looking where you're going. Miss Furness County Rodeo Queen, Caitlin Sugaru talks about why she likes being a part of the Rodeo Queen competitions. I just love doing it and I think it's to be that role model for the kids and always be there for them. And I think it's just a great job to have and to inform everyone about rodeo. Whether well, it was an event for the children, a 4-H competition, a crowd-pleasing jump, just a top-ranked bull rider in Nebraska. Number one bull rider in Nebraska rodeo. He says outside. The 2010 Red Willow County Fair offered a little something for everyone. This is Justin Bass, McCook Daily Gazette.